May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Hi, my name is Dan Haug. Welcome to the weekly e-message from Round Hill Community Church. I encourage you to read the contents in the e-message for important updates and announcements, events that we have planned in the next few days and in the weeks to come. But on this week, this is my final week serving as the associate minister at Round Hill Community Church. And I want to share a special message with everyone. The message is really one of gratitude. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the privilege of serving you over these past six years. My wife Loretta and I remember when we received the call, the invitation, the opportunity to come and to be here, to be part of this church family in this faith community. What a privilege it has been. We sensed and believed that God was calling us here. And at that time, over six years ago, we could not have anticipated what that would look like or feel like. All the ministry and those special moments and the relationships that developed and deepened over these six years. We are grateful. Our hearts are full of appreciation and we will be taking with us wonderful memories of our time together. Truly, we have found home at Round Hill Community Church. We have grown at Round Hill Community Church and we have served at Round Hill Community Church. I look back on pictures of my family and I see the growth of especially my boys, Jack and Blake. When we arrived, they were two and a half years old and now they are eight and a half years old. And it has been wonderful to have this faith community come alongside us to nurture our children, to nurture them in their faith, to love them, to care for them. This has truly been an extended family for us. We have traveled together, we have prayed together, we have served together, we have broken bread and shared meals together. It has been meaningful, memorable, and joyful. You know, they say that laughter is one of the best medicines. And so one of, a real treat, a real gift to me this past week during our staff meeting is our director of music, Leslie Smith, put together a, a reel of, of bloopers from times where Pastor Ed Horseman and I were filming, recording videos for our, for our church. And it, it's quite humorous. And so I do hope that you will take some moments uh, after you watch this message to watch the other video included in the service. It brought me to tears just remembering back the joy that we have experienced together, the laughter that we have shared. I want to say a special word of thanks to Pastor Ed Horseman. His leadership over these past six, six years with a remarkable team has been an inspiration to me. We have been blessed to have a tremendous staff, tremendous volunteers, leaders of this church, youth, children, parents, People in all ages, in all stages, coming together for the common good. Coming together to find home, to grow, and to serve. It has truly been an honor to do so. And so this upcoming Sunday, August 15th, will be my last Sunday here. And that very next day, my family and I will be moving, heading up north to Stowe, Vermont where I have received a new call to serve as the senior pastor at Stowe Community Church. I am honored and humbled and excited about this new chapter in my life and this new adventure for my family. And so eternally grateful for our time together with you all. So I offer you this final benediction May the peace of Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. 
May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into these doors. Thank you and farewell. <laughs>